This video is how to use the Aave liquidity protocol. We're gonna look at lending and borrowing in this video, and I'll leave timestamps for both of those down in the description below. For right here though, we need to come to Aave.com. I'll link them below as well. Make sure you don't go to a fake site. And then you can go to launch app and it will take you through to this page. So a quick overview of how Aave works and all of the different markets here. So Aave is a lending and borrowing protocol that uses over collateralized loans. That means that if you lend out your crypto to someone, they have to over collateralize what they're borrowing from you. So if you're lending $1,000 to somebody, they actually need to put around twelve dollars to $1,300 of a crypto asset on the platform to back the loan that they're taking, over collateralized. That gives the protocol a buffer that is more than the loan in case the crypto asset falls in value or their loan gets liquidated, right? And so it's a buffer to protect you as a lender. So when you're lending to people, they have more than they're borrowing from you on the platform in a crypto asset, which is usually Ethereum that they use to collateralize the loan. If you're borrowing dollars, for example, against your crypto, you're going to have to put more Ethereum on the protocol and then borrow dollars a smaller amount, right? So you can borrow around 70 to 75% of the value of your collateral on here. It's over collateralized lending, which is a safety buffer for everyone involved. Now, as you can see, there are different markets on Aave. These different markets are the different chains. Now, these are completely separate markets with their own supply and demand, which means interest rates are different amongst all of the different chains. So we have to keep that in mind. If you're lending dollars out, for example, you can go and check these different chains, right? So the Optimism chain right now has around, you know, 3.9% on dollars if you're lending it out. If you go over to something like the Ethereum chain, you're getting 4.8%. And if you go to something like Arbitrum, Tether is getting about 7.5% right now. So different chains and different uh, supply APYs as they're called. So if you're supplying this asset, then that's the interest rate that you're getting to supply that, right? And as you can see, different chains have different assets that you can supply as well. By far the most popular is Ethereum and a dollar, either USDT or USDC, right? So you're lending dollars to people that are paying or you're using an asset like Ethereum to collateralize a loan in dollars. Which market or blockchain should you use? Well, that's gonna come down to a few different factors. The first one is the size of the market. As you can see on Arbitrum, it's around 500 million in size. And of course the yield that we're getting on Arbitrum Dollars are relatively high yielding, which is good for right now. And of course, the blockchain fees are on a certain blockchain. So Arbitrum has cheaper fees because it's a layer two. If we go to Ethereum, the market size is much bigger. The yield on dollars is a little bit lower. And of course, you're paying higher fees on Ethereum. So it's up to the individual. We'll look at optimism right now. Uh, and as we can see, the market is a little bit smaller and the yield is around 4% on dollars. So what we're gonna do is connect our wallet and we're gonna connect a browser wallet. Now, if you don't have a wallet set up, uh, I'll leave tutorial videos down in the description on setting up MetaMask and Rabi, both very, very good wallets that you can use with all the Ethereum chains. I'm gonna use Optimism as it's a much cheaper chain for this tutorial. Firstly, we'll look at lending USDT so we can go to the market and see the important details. So in the Optimism market, we can go to Tether and click on this. We know that the supply APY, if we're lending out, is 3.92%. And if people are borrowing this, then they're paying around 5.47%. You can see the borrow APY. So for us, lending 3.92%. So we can click into here and see some details. So we can see the available liquidity and the utilization rate of the you know, amount that's in this market. So supply, 6 million are supplied out of a total cap of 25 million that can be supplied. Current APY is 4%. Now this is a supply and demand APY. So you're not getting fixed income here. This is a variable APY and it depends on the supply and demand at any given time and it changes throughout the day. So you can see that here, this is the supply APR that's happening. You get these spikes during high demand where it can get very high and then it calms down again. The white dotted line is the average APY if you're gonna be lending over a longer period, so around 9%. So very good to lend out dollars at 9% in an over collateralized fashion, right? So the, you know, the borrower here has to put more ETH on to borrow your dollars, 
which makes things safer. But of course, there are risks here, of course, because if there is a massive liquidation within crypto, the protocol may not be able to sell out their crypto in time in order to pay back uh, what you've lent them. So there's still there still are risks here. Now, what happens on Aave as well, if you go to stake, this is actually uh, the what they call the safety module. So people that stake the Aave token can get a yield from the protocol because it's making profits. But what happens is if they are staking their Aave, um, they are essentially insuring bad debts within the system. And if one occurs, that Aave will be used and sold in order to pay back bad debts. And so people can stake to earn a yield, but then they have that potential of slashing if there are any bad debts. In order to lend out dollars, we need two assets in our wallet. Firstly, we need Ethereum to pay for gas on the Optimism network. Optimism uses ETH for gas. And then of course we need the dollars to lend out. So I'm just gonna uh, get my MetaMask wallet up right here and then the wallet address I'm gonna copy and then I'm gonna withdraw some ETH over the Optimism network. So I'm gonna go to my Binance account, have ETH here, just gonna paste in my address. And then the network that we want to use is the network we want to receive it on. So we can come down to Optimism, click that. I'm just gonna withdraw that ETH from uh, Binance over to my Optimism network wallet. Now I also want dollars because I need to lend those out and so I'm gonna go over to my OKX. I've got some USDT here. I'm just gonna paste in the wallet address. And then the network that we wanna use is Optimism. Uh, so that will be going to the same address on the Optimism network. So I'll do those. And then I have ETH and Optimism in my wallet. And then we can go ahead and use it. If you want some trading deposit bonuses to OKX and Binance, I'll leave them below. If you are new on those, you can get some good trading bonuses. So you can check the details via the links in the description. Now that we have both of those tokens in our wallet, we can lend out the dollars and use the ETH to pay for the transactions. So Aave recognizes now that I have $100 in my wallet. So we can supply that. Now, if you're using MetaMask, what you may find is that you sent the dollars to your wallet, but you can't see the dollars in your MetaMask. What you have to do is import the token. So press import tokens and then just paste the contract address of USDT. Go over to CoinGecko, uh, press USDT. If you're using USDC, find it or another token that you're using. Come down to the contract here, click this, and then find the token that you want on the chain that you're using. So for me, that's optimism right here. So I'll just copy that, go back. And then in MetaMask, we have to click import tokens, paste that in, and it will say that's USDT. You press next to add the token, and then you can see the token balances. If you're using Rabi, you don't have to do that. It's just automatic, uh, but I'll use MetaMask for this example. So now we can see both of the tokens here. So now what we can do is supply. So press supply, click the amount of USDT that you want to add in. And then as you can see here, it says approve USDT to continue. So what we're gonna to have to do if you've not used a protocol before is approve this token and basically approve the protocol and give it permission to manipulate this asset within our wallet. So we're gonna press approve and this is just a signing transaction. So we'll just press max here and we're letting the protocol manipulate what we have in our wallet, which is this much. So we're gonna press next and then you can see the fee here is basically non-existent, but we'll press approve. It's basically a signing transaction. Now we have to wait for that. Once that's gone through, then we can press supply USDT. That has approved, so now we can press supply USDT. So we'll click that. And now we actually have to pay for this transaction. You can see the gas fee is one cent. So pretty cheap on optimism. So we're gonna press confirm. And then that should lend our USDT into the protocol. Now from here, what's gonna happen is you lend your USDT and you obviously need a receipt for what you've just done, right? So that is uh, known as an A token. You can see that here, add A token to your wallet. What we'll be getting is A USDT, and that's a token in our wallet that is the receipt. It shows how much we've lent, but it's also the thing that earns the rewards and the yield that we're getting. So if we press add to wallet, uh, for some reason this isn't working. So what we can do is go to CoinGecko and then search for it again. So if we go to cryptos, up in the search, we need AUSDT, and it's the Aave V3, so it should be this one here. So we're gonna click that, and then from here, we can do exactly the same thing. So the contract, we're gonna look at Optimism, so we'll click that, go back to the protocol. We'll just press OK, close, but of course in our wallet, what we need to see now is 
we've actually got these tokens here, right? Because you can see USDT is no long, longer in our wallet because we've lent it out. So import tokens, press that, and then that should be a USDT. So we'll click next, import. And then as you can see, we have a balance of this. So down here, we have the receipt token that we've got. That is 100, which we've just lent, and that will be accruing interest as soon as we put it in. So that's the thing that you see that you've got, and that will be actually going up in the amount because you're lending and earning the 3%, 4% yield. So that's the three tokens that we have in our wallet now. So from here, what we can do is actually go to our dashboard, and then we should be able to see what we're doing on this market. So the optimism market, you can see our net worth here and the net APY we're getting. If you have multiple lending positions, it will show you your blended, what your blended yield is. So we have USDT and the balance we have is $100 here and the APY for this is 3.92%. So you can see all of that right here. You can also see in your wallet that you have connected assets that are available to supply. So if you want to supply ETH as well, you can do that exactly the same and you'll be getting you know, a small interest on that as well if you want. So that is how to lend out assets on Aave. If you want to know way more about lending or using DeFi, I have a whole section in the Crypto Investor course. You can see that here. Many videos. I'll leave it linked down below. There's 300 videos going through everything in crypto and private groups. If you have any issues, you can just ask uh, myself or others in there. But obviously, we need to withdraw this, which I'll show you. So if you do want to withdraw, it's right here. So press withdraw. Switch is actually where you can trade using Aave into another token. So it's using a decentralized exchange to swap tokens if you want to do that. I'll just show you withdrawing. Withdraw, max, that's what I'm withdrawing. You can see we've actually accrued some interest already because it's just every second it updates with the live interest that you're earning. So we've earned some interest there. And what we can do is press max, and then we want to withdraw that USDT. So we'll do that. And that will just uh, go through with a blockchain transaction. Again, very cheap, press confirm and that will withdraw the USDT back into our wallet. So what's going to happen is that the AUSDT will go to zero and the USDT will be back in our wallet and then we can send that out or do anything else. If you want to lend against your assets in Aave, you first have to supply them to the protocol so that it has ownership of them and then you can borrow against them. So as you can see isolated here, isolated assets have low borrowing power, right? So if you supply a Tether, you may not um, borrow that much against it. And so that's just another safety protocol here. So what we're going to do is supply some Ethereum. So click ETH. And as you can see, if I click ETH here, it knows that my, my wallet has a balance here. So we're going to supply an amount. Um, let's just do uh, 0 0.1, which is you know, around $200. So we're going to supply ETH here and go through that with, with that transaction. And then from here, once it's supplied, we can actually see how much we can borrow against it. We can now use this collateral that we have in Aave to borrow against. So within ETH, you can now see that I actually have uh, available to borrow. So you can borrow ETH, right, against that. You can borrow uh, around you know, $176, right? So we can borrow that. Or if you want to use your collateral to borrow another token, you can do that. So if we go down to Tether, you can see here that we can uh, borrow an amount of Tether now based on our collateral that we have in ETH. So we're going to do that. We're going to press borrow. How much do we want to borrow? Uh, I'll just borrow a small amount, so $20 here. You can see the health factor is good. So what you need to be uh, aware of here is that the max loan to value is 75%, all right? So you can only borrow 75% worth of the value of your collateral that you put in the system. And of course, if you get to an 80% threshold, that's when you'll get liquidated. So if the value of your collateral goes down in relation to your loan, then you're going to get liquidated around 80% uh, loan to value and you get a liquidation penalty if that happens as well. So that's up to you and, and to, to work that out yourself and how much you want to borrow. But we're going to say borrow, we'll loan amount. And of course, we have to pay interest on this and that goes second by second. And we know that the yield that we have to pay or the amount that we have to pay to borrow is around 5.47%, as you can see here. So we're going to borrow $20. And the health factor is fine on this one. We're going to borrow USDT. So that will go through with another transaction. And now we should have that in our wallet. So what we're doing is using Ether's collateral to borrow USDT. And that would, will be within our wallet. Now we can take that out of our wallet. We can do anything we want with it. We can get liquidated on our loan if we want to. right? If we think that that's you know, something that we don't really care about, we can do that. So now we actually have 
USDT on our wallet. And then we're paying interest on that, remember, as well. So we're going to press OK. And now we actually have a borrow as well. If you go back into your dashboard at this point, which is up in the top left dashboard, you can see that my suppliers are earning this much. And then I've got some borrows here as well, right? So I'm borrowing USDT. This is the amount and this is the APY that I'm paying. So from here, if you have suppliers, of course, you do have to pay back interest on them. Uh, you should have some to tokens to be able to do that. And then from here, we're going to press repay. And then we're just going to press max. And as you can see, we do have to pay some interest, right? So some interest has accrued on our loan that, we, that we're uh, the borrowing at the moment. So we're going to approve and then just pay that back. So that's how you borrow and lend. So we're going to press max here and then pay back the amount that's needed. It's going to work out how much you should pay back. So when you do borrow, if you want to pay back a small amount, like a, a, a little bit of it, 10% of the loan or whatever, or the, the whole loan, you do have to make sure that you are paying back the loan plus interest. So you need that token again to pay for the interest. So make sure that you have some USDT available to pay back what you loaned out plus the interest there. Otherwise, obviously, you can't pay back the whole loan. So once that's repaid, essentially, you won't have a borrow anymore. And if you want to take out the collateral that you're using, you can now do that. So press OK, no borrows. And then from here, if you want to withdraw this, your collateral, you can do that as well and press withdraw.